They have fled recently, leaving snacks in their wake. Ah, they had the right idea. Somebody find the back entrance. Best dirty movie I ever saw. Oh, crap! This door will not hold. We must barricade it. You stay here, pal. You hear that? No more freaks. Something scared him off? to the exit. take more than a locked door to stop me scarpering. Time for us to check the emergency exits. Bats, you clearly got a lot of new issues. Why not punch it out with Deadshot? Above us right now. 
something moving! If you want to call this a draw... Ah, it's bloody I'll locked! Go. We gotta keep looking! This is my exit. So long. Listen to me. You get Flash. I'll pull you out of whatever mess you're in. My guys picked off one by one. This is all feeling real familiar. Flash, your four escaped criminals. They led me right to him. No, not a threat at all. Still, let their corpses strike fear into those who'd resist. Hey, boss. Bad news. We found evil Batman. He murdered a bunch of guys and kidnapped Flash, which... I guess is the other bad news. Batman has also... trapped us. I want you back at the Hall of Justice. Go to the other exit and wait for support. While they're out. Welcome to the real Batman experience. and experimented on in Arkham's depths to create a powerful new strength serum, Titan. Serial killer Victor Zaz was let loose on the island, claiming several more lives that night marked indelibly on his skin. As a last resort, Joker used his own experimental Titan mixture the Super Serum warped his body to match his twisted mind, but it wasn't enough to defeat Batman. I can't even say that's the most messed up thing he did. Harley Quinn. Once a promising young psychiatrist, she returned to the asylum to terrorize it as Joker's sidekick. Hmm, every gal has a phase they regret. Maybe mine happened to get me consecutive life sentences. Following the 
fall of the asylum, Gotham Skid Rows were turned into the super prison, Arkham City. An urban hell, where the only rules were made by the villain ringleaders and their gangs. I know, I was on the ground, and so was Batman. The only way to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect. Fear! That's how we get respect! Show Batman and Joker's rivalry finally ended in Arkham City. I don't doubt Batman would have saved the maniac if he could, but the Titan poison ensured this was Joker's last laugh. I compartmentalized all this in a box, in another box, in a fridge, in a junkyard. Basil Carlo, Clayface, worked for Joker, impersonating the criminal mastermind who hid behind the scenes. Quite the performance, and his last. Solomon Grundy wasn't just a nursery rhyme. Penguin discovered this legendary monster under the Iceberg Lounge and put him to use as rancid, undead muscle. Jarvis Tetch, the Mad Hatter, a real head case. A hypnotist fixated on fantasies. The only thing he sought more than his Alice was to control Batman. Victor Freeze. This brilliant but cold scientist would do anything to protect his wife, Nora, whether that meant opposing or aiding Batman. Talia Al Ghul, once second in command of the League of Assassins. Sadly, the spark between her and Batman was extinguished at Joker's last stand, along with her life. Professional killer Deadshot was hired to assassinate several VIP targets, like myself, and Bruce Wayne and Batman. Close calls with death that night. Ra's al Ghul, head of the League of Assassins, was obsessed with making Batman his successor. But Al Ghul underestimated Batman, and it would be his downfall. Professor Hugo Strange was the madman pulling the strings behind Arkham City. Intending to destroy the prison and its inhabitants, he instead died within its walls. The city's darkest hour was yet to come. Gathering Batman's remaining foes into an unholy alliance, the crazed Scarecrow plunged Gotham into a waking nightmare. Welcome to Gotham, the city of fear. Me gone, didn't you, Batman? Lost in the waters beneath Arkham. But like all submerged forgotten fears, eventually I returned. My fire crew was trapped. But we owe Batman our lives. He just kept pushing himself past the limit. Batman turned back the tide of fear, reclaimed the city. But at what cost? In defeating Scarecrow, his identity was revealed to the world. In the end, Ivy was more plant than person. Yet she chose to help the people of Gotham. She sacrificed herself to neutralize Scarecrow's toxin clouds with plant life. Oh, Red. Why'd you have to sacrifice yourself for the greater good? The pyromaniac Garfield Lenz thought he could indulge in the chaos, striking not just Gotham's buildings, but the fire departments protecting them. Who was the Arkham Knight? The mysterious figure seemed to aid Scarecrow, but vanished after his defeat. I believe his methods were very similar to the vigilante, Red Hood. As always, Edward Nigma forced Batman to participate in his riddles, even capturing Batman's sometime ally Catwoman as incentive. Waves of Herrick Death sent shockwaves through Gotham City. It seemed unbelievable. Impossible. Batman 
Hunter's legacy would live on in many ways, including persistent underworld rumors of an even more fearsome vigilante. The demon bat. Terror of Gotham's criminals. But let me ask you, would the events you've witnessed not drive any man to a place of darkness? Arms dealer, gang leader, the sadistic kingpin Oswald Cobblepot. Better known Talk as Talk about an eligible bat Wallace try. Gotham and Blackgate <laughs> with weapons. That's what I would have said. I personally investigated Deacon Blackfire, a cult leader who thought human blood made him immortal. Crazy, of course, but he still tried to sacrifice me. Slade Wilson, the super soldier known as Deathstroke, came to Gotham that night leading a whole militia, but his vendetta was with one man, Batman. Laszlo Valentine is one sick individual, a freakish surgeon whose idea of making his patients better was changing them into featureless dolls. Several years after faking his death, Bruce Wayne finally returned drawn back to the light by the metahuman superheroes from Metropolis. They asked Batman to join the Justice League. He accepted. And so, the story of Bruce Wayne, the Batman, continues. Far from the mean streets of the city that made him. I'm Jack Ryder. Thanks for taking this journey with me. Guess that's why he never visited me in jail. Hey, Walla, we're at the exit. Are you gonna spring up? Ah, oh, shit! It's a ghost! Are the spirits of your ancestors typically digital? <laughs> What's she doing now? Trying to give us the brain spasms? She cracked the lock! Thank you, strange holographic girl! Are real. You ate a lot of lead paint growing up, didn't you, Boomerang? Yeah. And? Let's get back to the hall before Walla turns our heads to hamburger. Or we could go on the Batman experience again. Huh. Follow that green beam. You'll find Lantern set up in some bullshit-ass construct castle. You jealous, Deadshot? You sound jealous. Lantern's fortress is very impressive, but our orders are to return to the Hall of Justice, not marvel at his powers. Identity, hey! Identify the deal? new target. The deal is, you keep asking, I'm gonna put these size 11 up your narrow ass. Oh, that means it's embarrassing, yeah? Lay off, Boomerang. A man's backstory is personal. Special. Yeah. Thanks, boy. And probably involves long-lost twins of another race. Get 
important to love yourself. Anybody else want to see what's behind in a sanctum door number one? Man, the League's gotta have something behind that door to help us get out from under Waller. Yeah, work those back muscles. Job calls for finesse. Maybe a little sleight of hand. Oh, oh, touch the bone bit. Uh, this entire time. Be you... cool, be cool. You can rip his arms off after we get in there. Got any other flash body parts we should know about? Just the fastest thumb in the West. <laughs> After that gross-ass detour, we're back in business. All right, let's steal this shit. <laughs> 